everyone, Kaylee here, and today we're creating some hairstyles from the TV show Victoria because season two is coming out soon and I'm so excited. I watched season one in a day, literally all of it in one day. It was so good. The show itself is similar to The Crown or Downton Abbey. If you like those shows, you'll definitely like this one, but I just loved like watching a historical fiction drama about a strong, amazing female who ran England. So. I highly recommend the show. That being said, let's get into the video. I'm gonna start with this hairstyle, which Victoria wears very early in the season and is very pivotal to like her early moments as a queen. First, I want to match Victoria's amazing, long, luscious hair. So I'm gonna be adding in these extensions and I'm starting by doing a U-shaped section in the crown of my head with a four-piece weft. And then just under that, I'm going to use a three-piece weft in that same U-shaped section. Now in the front, my hair is not long enough to do this style on its own, so I'm using two piece extensions on either side of my head and I am ready to go. And now we section. This hairstyle relies on a very clean center part and then you part the hair from your part to the middle of your ear on either side of the head. And once you've done that, everything in the back is pulled up into a high ponytail and secured with an elastic. And now we can braid. I'm starting with this boar bristle brush to smooth the hair in front and I'm brushing everything very, very smoothly into place right in front of my ear. And then I'm going to start braiding everything all the way down. And at the end, I'm securing it with a bobby pin just because that's really fast and gently pulling on the braid just to let it breathe, but you're not trying to deconstruct it or overly voluminize it. Just get a little bit more life in it. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Gonna hit pause on the front and move to the back. You're gonna split that ponytail in half and then braid the top half. Once you've braided that all the way down, you can secure it and then pull it apart just a little bit before wrapping that braid into a bun. Now braid the remaining hair from the ponytail all the way down and secure it with a bobby pin. Then wrap it around the base of the bun that we just made, making sure that it is standing up on one end so that you clearly see the braid as it forms around the bun. And now we pull back the front braids. You can pull the first braid back so that it forms an arc just under your ear and then follows the line of the hair up to the bun and pin it in place. Now repeat on the other side, making sure that you exactly mirror the angle and position of the first braid. If you have any braided ends remaining, you can wrap them around the bun and pin them in place. And now for the final touches. I noticed that a lot of the characters wear hairnets in the show, so I'm going to put a hairnet around the bun to hold any loose ends in place. And then I'm adding some small jeweled combs to the base of the braids where they meet the bun. I noticed that this is something Victoria does a lot with flowers or jewels, and so obviously I wanted to replicate that. And that's it for this hairstyle. Apparently this was in vogue with the French at the time. It was a very stylish hairstyle and it did make me feel rather regal wearing it, like much more than I expected to. Now moving on to this bun that Victoria is wearing more towards the end of season one. I started with my extensions at the same place in the front and then in the back I added a two piece weft towards the top of my head and then a three piece weft towards the middle of my head and I was ready to go. Start with the center part and side sections just like we did in the previous hairstyle. And then for the hair in the back, sweep up half of it into a half updo and secure it with an elastic. Now just braid that half up ponytail and wrap it into a bun. Now in the front, very smoothly sweep back one of your front sections so that it covers most of your ear and then grab half of the hair in the back. With that hair, we're going to create a four strand braid. So you're going to split your hair into four sections and then you're going to go over, under, under, over. Starting on the left, you go over one section and then under the section next to that. Then you switch over to the right side and you're going to go under and then over. And then you repeat that again on the other side. Over, under, and then on your right side, under, over. I have more detailed videos on this if you need that or you could do a normal braid instead, but I did notice that there are a lot of four and five strand braids in the show and so I wanted to incorporate that. And repeat the same thing on the other side, making sure to very cleanly sweep back that front section before you start your braid. 
To finish everything off, grab your left braid and wrap it around the bun, making sure that it's sitting so that you can really see all four strands of the braid and pin in place. Now do the same thing on the other side and make sure to tuck those ends under if you need so that nothing is sticking out. And finally, I'm going to finish by wrapping a rhinestone necklace around the bun and pinning that in place. This hairstyle was inspired by one that actually had a crown around it, but I thought that the rhinestones kind of gave it a very similar look. And I finished this off with a crown, partially just because I really wanted to wear a crown, but I thought it brought this whole hairstyle together. It is beautiful, it is true to the time, but it's also something that I think if you kind of loosened it up could definitely be wearable today. So that's it, those are some Victorian era hairstyles. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how they came together and learning how to do them. Don't forget season two is coming out soon and the promo is down below and you really should check it out because I like love the show and I need people to know that it exists. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're always notified when I post a new video and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah!